Hi there. This is Tara Doyle and Akeem, the CEO of the Puyallup Sumner Chamber of Commerce. Uh, those that may have missed our Blue Scarf Society information session uh, last Thursday. Well, first of all, I'm sorry you missed it. It was fantastic. Uh, we've had a great turnout and are really excited about this new offering um, from the chamber. But I'm creating here a, a real quick 10 minute video that'll walk you through the presentation. It'll give you an idea of sort of the scope of what this uh, new group slash program will look like um, for the upcoming year. So let us get going. Um, so first of all, uh, hey, thank you for an interest in uh, women's leadership, uh, women's uh, mentorship, networking, uh, and education. We have uh, four pillars that are part of this program. So you'll see leadership, learning, mentorship, and networking a few times throughout this slide deck. Uh, Washington State Fair was fantastic and hosted us. So just a quick thank you to them. And then let's start with some of the whys and why kick it off in March. Many of you no, I'm sure that uh, March is International Women's Month and March 8th was International Women's Day. So this is where we'll do a reset on the program each year in the month of March. Blue Scarf Society, a nice clever name there. Let's talk about why blue. Blue is a sign of intelligence, sincerity, faithfulness, wisdom, trust, and loyalty. Breaking that down to match it up with our four pillars, B, belief in self and bringing out in others, L for leadership, lifelong learners, U, unity, being better together, and E, experiential education and engagement. A scarf denotes a wearer's affiliation or beliefs. In an early 20th century, crusaders for women's rights used their clothing to promote their cause. The blue scarf reminds us and others that we are all in this together and that our only sensible choice, choice in life is to care for one another and to protect and share our world and her resources. The BBC recently identified scarves as a new power symbol for women. So as we end up inaugurating many of you into the Blue Scarf Society, you too will get a blue scarf that you can wear to chamber events. And this will denote our common cause um, and belief and unity together. So let's get going. I mentioned four cornerstones, leadership, mentorship, learning, and networking. Starting with leadership, you will be offered an opportunity to do a two-part mini workshop. And this will um, result in you getting a leadership certificate. The two parts are self-discovery and leading others. And right now we've got it uh, set up in a, in a fashion that there's two months where you will have a Saturday mini workshop, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and, and we'll have the self-discovery that you'll need to take first. So you will either choose May, September, or January as your self-discovery workshop. And then we're gonna follow that up with three other options for leading others. And that would be on one Saturday in June or one Saturday in October or one Saturday in February. So really, there's going to be two Saturdays in the, in the whole year that you'll get um, the opportunity to do self-discovery and leading others and get your certificate for going through that leadership workshop. And so leadership um, is a rather fundamental cornerstone of this. Um, I know that when I began my leadership journey, um, there was a, a lot for me to learn and, and stuff that I am continuing to learn. Um, and the self-discovery aspect of it was, was certainly part of the most important aspect of it. Um, there's plenty to learn uh, about leadership, but when you really turn around and look at your own emotional intelligence, um, you take assessments that are looking at personality traits, um, really make you kind of measure, evaluate, and analyze how you think, um, how you perform with others. Um, there is a lot that uh, going through that process will teach you about being a better leader when you get to know yourself better. So we will have fun. We will have those assessments given to you ahead of time uh, so that when you bring it to your workshop, we'll be able to discuss some of your strengths and weaknesses and, and how that um, you know, can help you be a leader in the future. We'll also uncover empathy and why that's an important component to being a good leader. I've got a little 
example here of, of how we will teach you. Um, the facilitation of these workshops uh, will be fun and engaging and active. And I hope that nine to two goes by very quickly for you with uh, chock full of great information. Uh, but Brene Brown, uh, many of you may or may not have heard of her. I believe she has still the, the number one most viewed TED Talk um, in history. And uh, so she's also got a Netflix little docu-series called uh, The Call to Courage. And I have sort of stole a little clip from that. Let's see here. <clears throat> All right, so this just gives you a little example of the fun we'll have while we're teaching. So what is empathy and why is it very different than sympathy? Empathy fuels connection. Sympathy drives disconnection. Empathy, it's very interesting. Teresa Wiseman is a nursing scholar who studied professions, very diverse professions where empathy is relevant and came up with four qualities of empathy. Perspective taking, the ability to take the perspective of another person or, or recognize their perspective as their truth. Staying out of judgment, not easy when you enjoy it as much as most of us do. <laughs> Recognizing emotion in other people and then communicating that. Empathy is feeling with people. And to me, I always think of empathy as this kind of sacred space when someone's kind of in a deep hole and they shout out from the bottom and they say, I'm stuck, it's dark, I'm overwhelmed. And then we look and we say, hey, I'm down. I know what it's like down here and you're not alone. Sympathy is, ooh, <laughs> it's bad, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, no, you want a sandwich? <laughs> um, Empathy is a choice and it's a vulnerable choice because in order to connect with you, I have to connect with something in myself that knows that feeling. Rarely, if ever, does an empathic response begin with at least. I had a, yeah. And we do it all the time because you know what? Someone just shared something with us that's incredibly painful and we're trying to silver lining it. I don't think that's a verb, but I'm using it as one. We're trying to put the silver lining around it. So I had a miscarriage. Oh, at least you know you can get pregnant. I think my marriage is falling apart. At least you have a marriage. <laughs> John's getting kicked out of school. At least Sarah is an A student. But one of the things we do sometimes in the face of very difficult conversations is we try to make things better. If I share something with you that's very difficult, I'd rather you say, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just so glad you told me. Because the truth is, rarely can a response make something better. What makes something better is connection. Okay, so that just gives you a quick example of a way that we will bring to light some of these important aspects of leadership. Um, And Brene Brown does a fantastic job of demonstrating that. So then your second part of your workshop will be leading others. And again, no matter where you're at on the scale of your leadership, uh, whether you're uh, just have one direct report or 500, uh, there's a lot of tools we can help you with to, to help you be a better leader and or grow that group of folks that you are leading We'll cover the top 10 characteristics of a leader. Um, I recently completed a leadership principles course through Harvard Business School. So I will impart some of that wisdom uh, to the group as well. Uh, we'll do some public speaking and negotiation skills. So it'll be um, just a great day of leading others. And it will all culminate with a certificate at the end. So that is what would be included if you are to join the Blue Scarf Society. The second aspect of the program is mentorship. So you will be paired with a mentor. So again, look at where you are at in your career 
And if you're a manager level, then, then we'll be looking for a director level or above. Um, if you're a director now, we'll be looking at a CEO um, to pair you with. Um, if you're new to your profession, then there's gonna be a lot of, of folks and great ladies, intelligent women um, that are gonna be able to share their journey with you and get paired up. Um, there may be a few of you that are at that mentor level and have, have had many, many years and, and we may end up, um, you know, tapping into that talent as well. But for the most part, this group will be mentees and we have uh, lovely ladies in the community that have volunteered their time to, to help us through this part of the program. Um, this program runs September through May and kind of on a school year. Uh, I'm currently part of the UW uh, Milgard's School of Business Women's Initiative, which uh, has a mentorship program. And so I'm, I'm kind of borrowing some of what I find to be a really uh, worthwhile aspects of that program here as well. So we'll have four group engagements. So this is all mentors and all mentees getting together. We'll kick it off at our Women in Business Luncheon that is slated for uh, September, I believe, 17th. And let me look here. Yep, we've got September 17th is our Women in Business Luncheon. That's where we'll announce the mentor-mentee pairs. And then we'll also have you ahead of time fill out a questionnaire, a little bit more about the industry you work in, your interests, uh, what your goals are and aspirations for your career are. And we'll do some, try to really do some good targeted um, matchmaking with your mentor uh, so that once you're paired, um, I hope this relationship ends up being something very robust for you. At those four group engagements, we'll have a speaker on a topic, and then we'll also give uh, opportunity for some smaller roundtable discussions with topics that we'll provide you via TED Talks or podcasts or reading material throughout. So four times between September and May, this is how we'll meet. The other five months of the program, we're going to ask you to consider um, scheduling once a month for, for five of those months a coffee meeting, a lunch, a walk outside in the park um, with your mentor. And, and there's just a lot of organic uh, relationship building and mentorship that'll come through just getting to know one another, sharing stories, asking lots of questions. But along the way, we'll also provide you some talking points and ways that you can engage with your mentor-mentee relationship. Um, so that I believe will be a very rewarding aspect of this program. Once you complete in May, mentees as you're done, we have a second part of the program where we are partnering with Pierce College and some of the high school students in the local school districts here to now match make these mentees that, that now can be mentor to these students um, at Pierce College and uh, and the school districts, like I said. So you may be talking to them about career choice and, and other things, and we'll give you, again, some tools to, to really foster a relationship with someone. Um, we hope one day that, you know, as you're wearing your scarf, that we also have some pins that can be indicated on here that actually show how many people you've mentored along the way. Um, so again, just a great thing to kind of keep building um, up the great things that this program will be doing in the community. Third cornerstone, hey, this is the fun one. This is experiential education. And so field trips, who doesn't love a field trip? We have six that we will schedule throughout the year. It might be wine tasting at our friends at Shiloh Estate Cellars. Um, we might be crafting in Sumner. Uh, we've, we've looked at also, this is gonna be fun. This is a, a cruise on the Discovery Princess cruise ship, which is a brand new ship. I'm actually gonna show you a little quick video as a teaser for it because um, this, this is gonna be fun. It's just one of those little reposition um, ship cruises. So uh, inexpensive, I think it starts at $399 for four days, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get to the video here for you. But a four day cruise that um, will give us a chance to get to know each other better. These are all optionals and these are sort of add-ons um, throughout the year. Um, but again, I think this is going to be really fun. So I hope you enjoy us for this one. And hopefully it is sharing properly. Oh, let's, let's try that again just to make sure we get reset correctly.
All right. It's fun when things are hiding from you. Beautiful step, just beautiful. And I believe this would be taking a train to Vancouver. Um, I don't remember if it's Ketchikan or where in Alaska exactly, um, but then we end up back in Seattle. So again, just a, a four day reposition, get a little taste of what a first class cruise ship looks like. Uh, this ship will have its inaugural sailing in the fall. And so I believe our trip is slated for not until next spring. So a year from now, um, but something definitely to look forward to. Um, and they have some great savings by booking early. So just wanted to give you a little taste. Look at that deck and pools. Just fun, 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 fun with the ladies. So you can look up Discovery Princess to Princess Cruises to watch more there. Okay, so more aspects of the field trip. Let's talk about, uh, we have an investment club that will also be part of this experiential learning. Um, see what I did there, investment club. So maybe we'll do golfing, maybe we'll just talk money. Um, but we do have some ladies tapped in the community that can really help us with uh, just starting an investment club and or just for yourself, um, you know, tips, different podcasts that are really fun and helpful as you're trying to maybe learn a little bit more about stock trading. We also will have some restaurants that are happy to uh, give us opportunities for cooking classes. We will also look at doing kind of a little political boot camp one day. So any of you thinking of running for different commissions or city council, local office, boy, we would certainly like to be rising up great lady leaders in our community. And we'll give you a little bit more of a tool chest to be able to do that. Again, just fun. We'll do an aspect of health and wellness. Um, and of course, we will give back. So we will look at partnering with some nonprofits in the area too. So again, six throughout the whole year, um, kind of at the minimum. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of moving parts to this program, so we do want you to still have time for your career and your flourishing family, um, but but six is a pledge we could make and, and be able to meet. Our fourth cornerstone is networking. Most of this will just happen organically. There will not be a lot of programming specific to this. There will be opportunities for you to do swag bags at some of our field trip events so that you can share your goods. Um, we want to make sure that you are, are now with these other women, um, potentially 30, 35, that are going to be, you know, in this first sort of class of Blue Scarf Society members, um, where they, we, we hope that all of you will exchange goods and services naturally. Uh, we will have a little bit of a speed networking um, event, um, and certainly opportunities to give your Elevate Her pitch um, as well. So again, just we hope we see lots of uh, business cards being exchanged at, at some of these networking opportunities. We also will have a resource for you, a library of podcasts, materials that come from the leadership program, uh, the materials that will present through the mentorship. So there'll be one uh, directory where all of this is housed. And of course, we'll just kind of continue to, um, you know, elevate women in, in this community. So benefits of, benefits of membership. So this program is brand new to the chamber. I don't necessarily have funding um, sort of ahead of time since a budget comes out beforehand. Um, so we do need to uh, incur some costs with being able to be affiliated with this program to help run this program and to pay for facilitators and some of the moving parts of it. But guess what? It's not a lot. It's $250 um, for the year. And so um, that can be paid 250 you get a break if you do pay for the one time, you know, for the first annual fee for the programming. Um, if we are going to run monthly payments, then it would be $25 a month for the year. So again, you do get a deal, a little savings if you pay up front. Um, Melinda Gates has some interesting work she's been doing in showing how our economy is changing, how economics 
universally is changing as we keep elevating and investing in women. Um, and be, because as we know, we invest in women and girls and we are investing in the people who invest in everyone else. So the trickle down effect. So invest in yourself um, is certainly something I recommend you do. Um, just a little quick recap, you'll get a blue scarf as part of your Blue Scarf Society membership. You'll also, this is cool, we have um, a professional photographer that'll be at our inaugural reception, which is now slated for April 19th, four to six. Bonaventure will be sponsoring us there. We'll have wine and appetizers and have a little fun to kind of kick all this off. Um, you will at that day be able to have a, a, with your scarf, a professional headshot done. So you can use that for whatever you'd like, but we're certainly gonna put those up on our uh, chamber websites and on our walls here for the inaugural class of Blue Scarf Society members. We also have the two-day leadership workshop and certificate that will be part of the program, along with the six experiential education field trips, uh, the mentorship program you'll be a part of. We'll have a private Facebook group to communicate with, um, the Library of Women's Leadership Resources, podcast videos, books, and other educational material. Um, and like I said, plenty of networking opportunities. So, um, you know, get your employer to invest in you and, and you will certainly be able to uh, toot the whistle of your organization plenty of times. So join now. I, I wouldn't wait. Um, go ahead and you can either email me at Tara, T-A-R-A, at PuyallupSumnerChamber.com. You can also uh, find our event or this program on our website uh, to link through, uh, but just, or give us a call at 253-845-6755. We're happy to answer any additional questions. Um, and, and as you know, this is the first year of it. So much of how we design it will also have a lot to do with your input along the way. So you'll, you'll very much be a part of this historical inaugural class of Blue Scarf Society members. Um, hey, we love dogs around here. Maybe we'll, we'll give some blue scarves to the, the four-legged best friends of ours as well as part of the program. So just a reminder, the Blue Scarf and Not Society inaugural uh, reception will be April 19th from four to six at Bonaventure Puyallup. It'll be a classy, lovely lady to kick this event off. Hey, we've already got 22 people signed up for Blue Scarf Society. Like I said, I imagine we'll probably end up in that 35 to 40 range for this first class. Um, and, and, and you'll be able to join throughout the year, others that might hear about us down the road. Um, it's just this program has certain stops and starts along the way. And so you're really um, joining now at a great time um, to just really take advantage of all that this program has to offer. So again, um, I'm Tara, and I would love to hear from you with any questions or just give me an email if we're ready to sign you up. I hope to see you on April 19th. Thank you so much and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.